Well, a very good morning to you. It is Saturday morning, the 18th of August, and I am well down south in the Central Valley here at an undisclosed location. Quite a few things to talk about this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Up at four, on the road at five, had a big incident at the, and I went to fuel up the, uh, this morning. Number one, I had a, uh, very aggressive homeless encounter where, you know, a boyfriend and a girlfriend at a gas station, uh, you know, started, struck up a conversation. The girl asked for a few dollars. I gave her a few bucks and then they're like, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Las Vegas. And well, we'd like to ride along with you. I'm like, look, I got a two seat van here. And I'm not, uh, I'm not going to turn it over. No offense, I don't know you guys. So then they started trying, you know, the strong arm tactics, tactics, and all that kind of stuff, and looking around the van, and um, you know, peeking in the back of it. Oh, you got room? You know, we can just lay in the back, and you know, you can drive us down to Vegas. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, it ain't going to happen. And uh, finally, I finally I managed to convince them. You know, the guy came out to Seven Eleven, uh, the uh, clerk, and he's looking like I don't need any. You know, he's like I don't need any bullshit this morning. I've had all kinds of crap come down. You know, beings it's Saturday night and stuff, and you always have people hanging around the store, so that kind of passed. But when I went to, um, you know, gas up and opened up my wallet I look inside and I can't find one of my credit cards I can't find my damn bank card I can't find uh, my driver's license and I'm like oh man here we go again more bullshit here I am I got to drive 620 miles and I can tell you what guys if you drive 620 miles to Las Vegas and you don't have ID, you know what? You ain't going to be staying at a hotel. I don't care whether you have reservations or not. It ain't going to happen, okay? You must have identification to check in on a reservation. Well, I started to hit panic mode. Figured, well, I better just call and leave a message with D. I ain't going anywhere. I got to go down to DMV. I've got to get bank cards replaced. Luckily, I looked at my purse and I had pulled it out of my uh, purse sitting on the seat. And I thought to myself, my God, I hope that they're in the purse. And what had happened it, is that the uh, wallet had turned upside down and the uh, cards were there. The, the bank card, the credit card and the driver's license. And I was like, woo. But, uh, you know, I had a very crazy you know, first 10 minutes on the road trying to fuel up with this aggressive couple. Ain't no way I'm going to carry, you know, what the hell am I sh uh, are you driving Miss Crazies in the back and all that kind of stuff. There's no way. You know, fangul on you, baby. Fangul on you. Anyway, I got on the road about uh, 5 o'clock. It's about, uh, well, I think it's about getting on around 8 o'clock right now in the morning. So I've put down a few miles here. It's going to be a hot one today. I will see if I'm going to go live on the Rosie Murphy channel when I get up to uh, when I get up to the uh, high desert up there. Maybe we'll look at some cactus and things <laughs> and rocks and people who live out in the desert, right? On a more on a more serious note, you know, I'm always there's a lot of swirl going around. One of the problems that I always have with panel panel hangouts is they they can be great fun, they can bring people in, but they can also be sources of, of misinformation and also sources of uh, causing people to be inflamed in tempers. And uh, sad to say, I woke up the, this morning, and uh, I'm just saying, if I'm going down to Las, Las Vegas, and uh, if you have some idea of retribution about who I hang out with, and you're threatening to meet me, you know, downtown on East Fremont Street, and you're tra tracking me because of what happened in a Florida streaming house, just be advised, I'm I'm prepared, okay? I'm the furthest thing from a coward that there is on YouTube. Yeah, I don't get involved in controversy. I don't pop on the panels and things like that. 
But I'm telling you what, I still believe, as everybody else does, you have the right to hang out with anybody you want in the world. You have a right to do your own thing. So to use this trip to Las Vegas for some kind of uh, perceived <coughs> threat, some kind of stalking, something like that, well, you know, I'll be, I'm able to take care of myself a bit, you know, and I'm just going to leave that on the bottom line. The other issue is waking up. Evidently, uh, this guy CJ was on the panel last night and floated some kind of rumor. This is the other problem I have with panels and somebody comes on and says, well, you know, the rumor is that Missy Jen has some guy in the neighborhood that's a boyfriend or something like that. And, you know, Jen is very upset to hear that. Of course, Jen, Jen is a free agent. And if Jen had anything going on with anybody, she would certainly tell me and that would be her right. But that was very uh, hurtful to her that this guy who's basically just a busybody that pops up on panels everywhere and has an opinion on everything and uh, likes to scrap with people would come out and float a rumor like that just confirms and validates my decision not to be involved with panels and things and not to go up on panels because I would never want to be a source of misinformation or a uh, you know a source of something that could get people inflamed I always hold the firm belief that you're always best doing your own thing on YouTube and I continue to do so and I do respect uh, people's right to have opinions and things like that but you know when you put out uh, ridiculous rumors like that and ridiculous uh, statements about who's coming to the rancho and what you think Missy Jen will do and or won't do you really don't know Missy Jen that well okay you can think that you know her well She's a very private uh, person and she's got a very big heart, okay? And that is the bottom line. That's all you need to know about uh, Missy Jen. She minds her own business. And the last thing she needs is people running around spreading rumors that aren't even true, okay? Anyway, now on to the fun of Las Vegas. I'm not going to take my time worrying about that kind of uh, nonsense. We got a big agenda ahead, a lot of fun. I'll be having uh, going live with uh, D tonight. We've got some activities coming up this week, as you guys know. So I got a long ride ahead of me. Woo! All right, from an undisclosed location on Interstate 5 in the Central Valley of California, I do wish you a wonderful, wonderful morning. Woo!